Lincoln family combing through rubble today after a Sunday morning fire destroyed three homes. And the Macon Bibb Fire Department now says a man arrested at the scene started the fire. 41 NBC's Fiona King has the latest. A massive fire erupts, tearing through several houses, and you can see the destruction left behind. As you walk down Walnut Street, you can smell the burning wood in the air. Houses burned to the ground, charred trees, wood, and bricks scattered across the floor. Edwin Adkins lives across the street. He said he saw and heard the fire. Of uh, Something crashing woke me up at 6 o'clock. And I looked out the window and it was just a ball of fire right outside the window. Megan Orr lived in one of the destroyed duplexes. Monday morning, her family members tried to salvage anything they could. Most of it was collapsed and it's real thick, so we're not going to be able to salvage much. We got a table and a few little odds and ends. We found her uh, laptop. That's about it. As she escaped the flames, she was only able to grab a few things, like her keys and one of her cats. Her grandfather says she's distraught about not being able to save her kitten mitten. Still kind of in shock about the whole thing, I think. Uh, losing her pet was the hardest part of it for her. She said I got over that. She's been feeling guilty that she couldn't have done more to got it out. The fire department was able to return kittens remains, providing them a chance to grieve and remember their cherished pet. And she just picked them up. They're taking them to hearts for a service and crematorium and all that. So. Her grandfather says the community has stepped up to help. She's gotten donations from just random people coming up to her that's found out about it. And uh, GoFundMe uh, has helped a lot. There are two active GoFundMe accounts for those involved in the fire. The Red Cross has also opened up cases for two families impacted. In Macon, Fiona King, 41 NBC News. And you can find links to those GoFundMe pages at 41NBC.com. Now, according to the Sheriff's Office, 58-year-old Derek Kenneth Bell refused to leave the area. He was arrested for obstructing first responders and for public drunkenness. According to Lieutenant Kyle Murphy, Murphy, Murray with the Macon Bay Fire Department, his charges have now been upgraded to include six counts of criminal damage to property. Murray says he's not charged with arson because investigators were not able to prove through their preliminary investigation that he started the fire with intent to cause damage.